My happiness is being together with Severus Sama, so please take me with you. Those were her words to Severus, and of course, those words still hold true in her heart. It's one thing that I've really enjoyed about Overlord is seeing some of the relationships that have been built outside of the tomb itself, and one of those is, of course, to do with Severus. Of course, first introduced in Volume 5, this character was, and then very much established the connection between Severus and her. But after Volume 6, we haven't really had too much of her very minor stuff in and out to kind of explain how her training's been going, some of the transitions from one person to the next. Yuri did end up becoming the trainer for her training, the process of her becoming a head maid for, of course, outside of Nazarick to do with, of course, other locations. And it's something that's definitely something she's very driven to do. And I don't blame her. She wants to prove her worth and, of course, be close to Severus at the same time. And some characters in the story, not counting Irons, have gotten ideas that there would be some romance later on, that she would retire and get married to Severus. And, of course, Irons has made some fun remarks, sometimes thinking, you know, maybe it was been a little bit too cheeky. But I definitely really think there is a possibility of a romance, and that is just, again, sort of a theory of where the story could go for Overlord, whether that ends up being explained with the limited amount of volumes that are yet to come out. I don't think it would really take much time to explain that component, maybe like a very smidgen part of a chapter to kind of go over that, and maybe the writer for Overlord would consider maybe doing a side story volume that could end up delving into some of the side characters and tying off some of those loose ends like this particular one because this is something that I would really like to see kind of completed because it, it just would be nice to see her get her happy ending after all the travesties that she has gone through. I mean, she has been shackled up, beaten to a living pulp, and treated very cruelly, and then to be saved by Severus, to be protected, and of course, with the fear of death, with Solution not being particularly happy, going to Irons, believing that Severus betrayed Nazarick and Irons, and then of course, Severus trying to prove the loyalty by, of course, killing her, but being stopped by Kokaitis, she's definitely been through a lot. And I mean, there's definitely been some highs and lows for her. And of course, Irons ended up sparing her, not because of Severus, but because of his past with her family. So she is related to another particular character, the sister, that of course was an adventurer that hanged out with Momon, which was one of his first major adventures. And that, of course, led to him getting his hands on a diary with her death, and it allowed him to get a better understanding of the world. So as his way to pay the debt back, he spared her and brought her to Nazarick, of course, to continue the training. Some of the maids, like the more lower rank maids, haven't been particularly super welcoming of her, and that, of course, is to do with the fact that they aren't human, she's human. There's a bit of predatoriness between, of course, that, but... I feel like as time has gone on, she's kind of warmed up to some people as time is. But I think she will feel best outside of Nazarick with other maids that are working under Nazarick. So I think that will work best for her. And Severus will always be there to support her through thick and thin. And of course, Irons will never deny a moment for him to ever go on a lovely, lovely little romantic date to further their romances. Whether actually Severus feels the same way back that is the real question to be asked, because, I don't know, at the same time, you could see it as two different avenues. Some people could see it as, oh yeah, maybe he does have little feelings for her, maybe he's smitten, but it could also just be seen that he is very chivalrous and he will do anything he can to help those in need. And so if she needs help, she will get the help necessary from him, and so it could just be seen as an act of kindness. But I would like to see maybe later on in some of the volumes a hint of romance between the two, with it not just being pretty much one-sided. So I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts on this? I definitely think there is very good potential for future romance, but again, it all just depends on if the author decides to finish that particular part of the story, or if the author wants to focus on other stuff. It, it again, 
just will be up to him and the individual. So again, love to know what your theories are. Of course, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe for more anime content, and I will see you beautiful nerds in the next video.